What is the greatest comeback you have said to someone that left them speechless? So, one Thanksgiving we were eating dinner at my boyfriend's parents house. Boyfriend's deadbeat cousin was there and kept going on and on about how the family dog recognized him the moment she smelled him, she's blind. My boyfriend's sweet old grandpa was sitting beside me and leaned over to whisper, it's hard to forget what shit smells like. I played high school football one year, and after a scrimmage one of my teammates looked at me and said, hey, anybody ever told you, you suck at football? And without thinking I replied, nobody that matters. He was a bully, but to be fair I really did suck at football. I used to work with this guy who would always bring up the fact that his dad walked out on his family. There could be two people having a conversation on the other side of the room, and he'd hear one of them say the word dad, and he'd interject with something like, must be nice to have a dad, I wouldn't know. My dad left us when I was 6, and we haven't seen him since. This guy was also just a generally unlikable person, and kind of antagonistic towards everyone and everything. So he didn't generate much sympathy with these and ticks. One day I told him to do something, and we had this exchange, you're not my dad. If I were your dad, I would have walked out on you too. Was over at a friend's house in junior high, and his dad was making jokes about me having a small dog for some reason, but I just paid it no mind even though it bugged me. Couple hours pass, and he comes in the room again and says something like, Dixie 745, you find your peen yet? Before I could stop myself I blurted out, yeah, it was in your wife's mouth. Needless to say, I was asked to leave that day. Haha, ha. honestly though, what the duck was he expecting? He was an appropriate way before you were. Apparently he could dish it but couldn't take it. Yeah he was definitely in the wrong, it was weird because normally he was very cool. We talked it out after and each apologized. But it's kinda funny to look back on. Do you have to be overweight to work here? Why? Are you looking for a job? When I worked at Starbucks, there was someone who spilled a bunch of coffee and was trying to clean it herself. My co-worker walks up to clean it for real. Coffee spiller, it's okay, I got it. I'm a waitress, I do this all the time. Co-worker, you spill coffee all the time? He was trying to make a joke. But she just looked at him with a blank expression and walked away. Do you realize you always answer a question with a question? Without even thinking, does that bother you? Hanging out with friends, throwing crap at each other. My wife, no, not my face, it's my money maker. Me, no wonder we're always broke. She found it as hilarious as I did. My sister got me good once when I was about 19. My job then was newspaper delivery. I went into a room and saw my dog sound asleep on the couch, and I went, tough life, huh? All you do is eat, sleep and shit. My sister responds from the other room, that's all you do too, except you have a paper route. I couldn't even think of a response. Was in the army. A master corporal of mine overheard her ex story I was telling. He said, your sister doesn't count. I said, no. But yours does. He laughed. I did drill for an extra hour. When I was working in retail, my manager, who was a bigger fellow, and I, used to talk shit to each other for fun. One day he was congratulating himself for being such a good shit talker, and he said something like, I'm the king of throwing shade. I throw mad shade. To which I replied, you do cast a white shadow. Back when I was a smoker, I went to a gas station late at night to buy a pack. It was late, so instead of going inside you had to order at this little walk up window. When the attendant slid my cigarettes under the slot and I grabbed them, the kid behind me goes, don't you know smoking can kill you? And I said, yeah, so can talking to strangers. Because I'm ginger, and somebody thought they had an easy target for a cheap laugh on the school bus in front of everyone. Bully, boy, you. Do you have ginger pubes? Me. Nah mate. Did. But they are all stuck in your mom's teeth. Never got picked on after that one. Friend of mine used to be homophobic. We just arrived at a bar, and he makes a joke about this not being a date. He follows up with, you gonna pull out my chair for me? I came back instantly with, no, but I'll push in your stool. 
The entire group died laughing. I have never topped it, and it's still an inside joke for the group. Working retail, and an hour long barrage of anger from a customer lead to me filling out a return form while he leant over me, aggressively telling me how he would end me, end my career, end the business, before I snapped, stood up, pointed out his address on the invoice and said, the difference between you and me is I know where you live. He grabbed his form and bolted. Still know that ducker's address near 8 years later. Not me, but I was there for it. Doing early document research way down in the basement of a big law firm. Working on a med mal defense. This case involved where a guy went into an urgent care complaining about frequent urination. Doctor and a few tests, prescribed him some medication for BPH, and let him go. Eventually goes to another doctor, I think it was like a year later. He has prostate cancer and it's spread, by this stage it's inoperable. 95% of the time these cases are just grieving families channeling their anger inappropriately. Anyway, going through documents with me and her colleagues, let's call them Brad and Amy. Amy looks at some report and is like, yeah, our doctor is in the wrong here. This blood test has a normal range of XY. His is Z. This should have lead to follow up. He probably would have lived if they caught it then. Brad looks at her and says in just about the most condescending voice possible, and where did you go to medical school? Amy answers, Yale. Turns out, Amy had done her med school and left during her second year of rotations, deciding that being a doctor wasn't for her. She decided to enroll in law school. I was at the gym about 6 months ago, and this guy I went to high school with approached me. He graduated a year ahead of me, and opened with, snack and squats? I stare back at him uncomfortably. I recognize him but don't remember his name. I thought that was you. You used to be so weird, everyone thought you were so weird. Yeah, probably. He starts telling a story about casually bullying me, the good old days, sweet memories, etc. And then finishes it with, but you look so great now. I have always thought you were beautiful. What do you think about me? I don't think about you. He stared at me, and I continued to stare at him until he finally walked away. I was waiting in line at a bar for drinks, when this massive jock dude tried to cut in front of me. I am 5 foot 7, 145 pounds, and he was at least a half foot taller, and outweighed me by 80 pounds. When I call him out, he went off on me calling me a little bitch and a pussy. In my drunken confident state I said to him, I'm standing up to a guy twice my size, and you're picking a dude half your size. Who's the real pussy in this situation? He stood, just stood there and stared daggers into me. He eventually said that when I leave I better watch my back. Woman at work asked me if her forehead was too shiny. I told her, on the plus side. If you ever get lost in the mountains you can use it to signal aircraft. She slapped me, but not in a serious way. Annoying co-worker asked me, what do you even do all day? I wasn't having it, not today, so I said, not wasting other people's time. The office went quiet. The president called me and congratulated me on the sweet burn. The hottest blonde fell in two mile lap and we made out. The boss let me go home early and gave me a raise. Everyone cheered as I walked out, and then I woke up. Duck. In a tantrum, my six-year-old son told me I was a bad daddy. I immediately deadpanned he was adopted. The stunned look on my boy's face is seared in my brain. Not my proudest parenting moment. Play with fire and get burned, kid. I bullshitted my way through an HTML course in college. Our final project was making a website for a company. Mine was a coffee company, and it was perfectly functional but trash. It was ugly, all the colors clashed, it kinda did actually hurt your eyes if you looked at it for too long. The text was colored all ducked up, and nearly blended with the background, so you had to really try to read it. It was really bad. But functionally perfect, which was the point. So, as we were presenting, my instructor pointed out every visual flaw, she just dreamed it. She said it was the ugliest sight she had ever graded, and I was lucky I wasn't graded on how visually displeasing it was. I made an effort to sound professional as I explained, my sight caters to the younger crowd, you are not my target demographic, thank you for your input though. 
It was probably as legend as I'll ever be. She was probably like 35 to 40 years old or something. Got a 100% though. I was at Target once with my then roommate, and I was buying some NAR for some personal grooming. When checking out, my roommate made sure to say right in front of the female cashier, Dude. Why are you buying Naya? I responded, so you don't get hair in your mouth. That shut him up. Ah, elementary school was great for these. Heard a girl say, I'm worth more than you. To some kid, and he snapped back, yes, with the same price per pound you are. Like, a lot. Left all of us rolling. I got my golden moment too. At my school there was this short dude called Lars, who was always picking fights. He said to me once, can I call you King Skugsja the third? Imitating my dialect, and I instantly replied, can I call you extra Lars since you're so duck in tiny? Even his posse laughed, and he never bothered me again. Worked at a pizza place, and I had recently dyed my hair blue. Rich snobby guys comes in with his wife, gives me a look and says, what happened? Did you lose a bet? Without skipping a beat I looked at his wife, looked back at him and said, no, did you? I worked in a technical writing capacity for a small, family run company. The office manager was the owner's stepson, and was a massive prima donna. He loved to belittle the office staff, and make life harder for everyone with his condescending attitude and general incompetence. He once questioned the phrasing of a passage in a report that I wrote. I stuck to my guns, and this raised his ire. He began to yell and sputter, don't you dare question me. I have an English degree. Do you have an English degree? Do you? As I watched his face turn progressive shades of purple, I replied, sorry Jim, after high school, they determined that I had sufficient command of the language and that no further study was necessary. I thought he was going to stroke out. Girl with a tape recorder and microphone outside a strip mall near the new year. Hi, I am taking a poll on new year's resolutions. Me, yeah, it's to not talk to strangers, as I walked right past her. I looked back, and she was laughing. I was waiting tables out of high school, and wasn't very outspoken to strangers. I had a table of four dudes, pretty loud, joking around, etc. I think myself funny, but again, this was before I was more outgoing. They got the salad bar, and after they sat down with the plates from it, I asked if they found everything okay. One guy says, no, where are the women at? I said without even thinking, they saw you coming and ran off. The whole table busted up, and I got a great tip. I went to Catholic high school and had to wear a belt every day as part of the uniform. One day I had forgotten the belt, and the vice principal, who was a very fat man, had caught me. He said, excuse me young man, I can't see your belt. I stopped in my tracks and said, yeah? I can't see yours either. I was on the receiving end of 5 days detention for that one. When I worked in the oil field, it wasn't unusual for the crew to go out drinking after a long day shift. I happened to drink a little too much, and the following day I was paying for it. One of the guys asks me, how you doing bud? Not looking so good. As I'm puking out the bus or getting ready to head back to the barn for a crew change. I quickly responded in between dry heaving spells, I'm feeling about as good as you look. His mouth dropped in shock, guy was taken back from my usually quiet demeanor, he finished with saying, did I just get ducking roasted by Mexi pirate? Back in high school, there was this girl. She was incapable of saying anything nice. Everything out of her mouth was an insult. The only nice things she had to say were about dolphins. She was crazy into dolphins. One day, the teacher handed back an exam we did. I was top of the class. When the teacher shared that news, the girl rolled her eyes, looked at me, and said, you're such a pig. I held up my exam. Well, I guess this proves pigs are smarter than dolphins. First time she'd ever been rendered speechless.